Today we're going to continue looking at our study of long vowels and we're going to look at uh, long O and long A. In this lesson, we see how Ms. Nielsen has structured a series of activities for these eight students who are solidly in the within word pattern stage. As a group, they are studying long vowel patterns. Who can remember what the first thing is that you want to do when you have words, Steph? Um, read them first. Read them first. Good remembering. So the first thing Ms. Nielsen so does is make certain the children can read the words. To demonstrate the sort, she introduces the key pictures. We call this a closed sort because the teacher has defined the categories students will use in their sorting. So we're going to be sorting our words, um, words that sound this with the long O sound like in soap and the words that have the long A sound like in brain. Okay. Let's see, what about brain? Let's check it and see. Brain, soap, brain, rain. Which one? Rain. Okay. Toast, soap, toast, rain. The teacher is careful to model the way we compare to the key pictures. They also establish an oddball or crazy pile. Okay, how about this one? Bag, soap, bag, rain. Crazy pile? Yes. Why do you think it would go there? Because bag doesn't have the long A sound or the long O sound. Okay. Okay. Do you want to see if you can give it a try? Okay, how about you work in partners? Okay. okay. So Ricky and Chelsea. Ms. Nielsen gives students their key pictures and they get ready to sort. Let's take a look at Nicole and Megan as they sort for long A and long O words. Train, O, train, hot cane. What do you think, Nicole? Hot cane. Well, I think it would go with cane. I think this would go in a pretty pile. Brain, O, bold, They are particularly good at talking about their sorting. Oh, do you think it would go over here? Which word? Hmm. <laughs> it looks like most of you are finished with your sorts. Would you please now, with your partner, go through and check your sort and make sure you don't have any changes? Go through and read your cards, check your sort. Notice how the students say the words and check them with the key pictures. So what do you, what do you hear? Check it with these. Gold, road, gold, cake. What do you feel in your mouth? Nicole and Megan check the long O pile underneath the pictures of the bone. And they both agree that their sort is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to take a look at um, just our long A sound cards. So will you please put your O words and pictures in your baggie. With your partner, would you please take a look at those long A cards and see if you notice any patterns or any ways you can sort those words. I see patterns. See if you can sort them by patterns. What do you see? After the students put away their long O words, they sort the long A words by patterns. Do you see any things that are the same? Megan draws Nicole's attention to the word weight, and they try to figure out what pattern weight follows. Which one? Next, Ms. Nielsen moves to the reflection part of the lesson when students explain why they sorted the way they did. What did you discover, ladies? That this one was a little tricky, but we figured it out. Okay. Megan talks about whether or not the words weigh, hay, and stay follow a CVV or CVC pattern. Ms. Nielsen has the children explain things 
to each other. Chelsea, would you explain or, or talk to Nicole? They had a, they thought that this was a different <coughs> pattern. This could be a C and a C. That's what we thought. That's what it is. Well, I sort of thought it was CVD. CVD? So did we. Okay, let's take a look at our seat work. When you go back to your seat, your first part of your seat work will be to take your words that we just sorted. In their seat work, with your partner, students review sort their sorts, the write them in their word write study notebooks, and, and then they play okay. the racetrack game okay. with these long O and long word A words. Notebooks. Your games will be up in the front for you to pick up.